welcome back to the show and we have one of the hottest trends in fashion today and we are so lucky because we have Nicole from Market City who's going to show us exactly what we need to do, right? Yes. Yeah. So welcome to the show. Thank I know you. this is your first time so it's a little <laughs> exciting but you have something exciting. Yes. What, um, are, what are they called? It's actually feathers, it's rooster feathers that people are putting oh. into their hair. Okay. And they don't look like roosters. They look really pretty. <laughs> I mean, not the kind that I've seen. Um, I do have different feathers. They come in either different lengths or they come in as thin as the wow. pink ones uh -huh. and as thick as Ooh. the really pretty long ones. Mm -hmm. and, and we have these at the store and you can just buy whichever feather you want? Yes, we do sell them in singles and um, we do sell the crimps also that is used to actually put them into the hair so they oh, stay. Oh, they're special crimps? Yep, we do have crimps. They do come in four different colors mm -hmm. depending on your different hair colors. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you're going to show us how to do this because you don't just like plop, like plop it in your hair, Oh, right? no. Um, what <laughs> you would need is actually if you have like a loose clip around, to oh. just to hold the hair into place and also um, a crochet hook. Crochet. Oh, really? It'll actually, it'll actually um, help hold the, the hair when you put them through. Oh, okay. That's and if you have uh, handy pliers. Okay. <laughs> so you can't do this for your, by, can you do it by yourself or you have other people do it? It would be a lot easier if you can get someone to, to help, help you. you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we do have um, our mannequin mm -hmm. and wherever you plan to put the feather you can either part the hair or some people put them on the bottom part oh, uh -huh. so that it, it shows behind the, the neck area. I guess it depends on your haircut. Yeah. yeah and then so we're gonna do the top part so we're just gonna part her hair Oh, okay. and then you can use the clip. So, oh that's just to hold the hair? Yeah. So you can put the clip in there, mm -hmm. and then you would just use your crochet hook. Mm -hmm. And then depending on your hair colors, I'm going to use a dark brown um, crimp. That looks like a little bead. Yeah, it's actually made out of like a plastic, uh -huh. so it's easier to play around with. Oh, okay. And then you you're just going to... pick up some hair? You're just going to pick up some hair. Mm -hmm. and then it's going to slide through. So you have to pull the hair through the crimpy thing? Yeah. Okay. Well, I can understand now why you say the crochet hook is good. Yeah. So it's going to help it. Mm -hmm. And then what you want to do is you want to add your feathers. Can you use put more than one feather in the crimp or just one at a time? Um, you can put um, multiple at one time because as long as it has um, enough room in the crimp. Okay. You can in, you can put two of them inside. Oh. So you don't want to attach it close, really close to the scalp because you don't want it to, to um, poke hurt. your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the little. The edges. The, I guess so. That and could happen. And then you're just gonna go in, and then holding both of them, you're just gonna smash the crimp together. Oh. And then after that, then you can just release. That's the, it. Yeah. Oh. Then after you just release the clip, and then you kind of have like a different kind of style and add it. Oh, because you kind of want the feathers to kind of blend into your hair, but show, yeah. but blend in. Yeah. <laughs> so that you don't see the crimp and everything. Oh, so, so that's, that's like the new it. trend. <laughs> okay, so these are feathers, but they're in your hair, and so what do you want when you want to wash your hair? Um, these feathers, you can actually use them, I mean, they're stuck in your hair, but you can wash them. You can also um, blow dry them. You can use a flat iron and even curl them. So you don't have to, like, I don't have to keep, I don't have to take it off when I want to wash my hair. No. I leave it in there. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So. Does it stay in? I guess it's just as long, and I, I guess if you got tired of it, you can uncrimp it, like... Yeah, you could uncrimp it. Like, cut and it then, off um, or something? You would just use the... You would get the crimp, 
and you would crimp it. Um, you would squeeze it, it the other way. Squeeze it the other way, and then if you want, if it still is good, you can still reuse them and redo your hair. Mm -hmm. Do you have one in your hair now? I do. I don't know if you can see it. It's it's like a oh. light brown, like a it's dark like brown red one. It's it's kind of like an orange, orange and brown reddish. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> How come you didn't put a big one? Do you um. know we want everybody? To <laughs> You're gonna move up to the big one. <laughs> You're gonna move up to the big one. I'm thinking about putting a, a longer. So does one it feel weird when you wash your hair? You do feel the crimps mm -hmm. when you wash your hair, but you just have to be careful because Don't if like you pull brush your hair hard enough, you might pull it out. <laughs> well, I'm glad you came on the show because no, this is really good. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Market <laughs> City, right? Yes. So if you have questions, we can come ask you. Sure. Great. And thank you. <laughs> no, thank thank you. you. Well, we're gonna take a short break, and we'll be right back.